Police are continuing to question a man on suspicion of murder after a driver was stabbed to death following a minor collision between two cars. The man who died, Donald Locke, was 79 and a great-grandfather. In a statement, his family said he'd recently been given the all-clear from cancer and was looking forward to the birth of his sixth great-grandchild later this year. A 34-year-old man from Worthing was arrested by police yesterday, and police say they have now recovered a knife and a car and are carrying out tests on both. Our correspondent Emilia Papadopoulos is at the scene where she has an update from the police. Emilia. Yes, that's right. Well, we've just heard from police that a knife has been recovered in connection with this murder. Now, that's gone off for forensic tests, so we should know a little bit more about that later on. They've also recovered a car as well, but they haven't said too much about that. But here near the village of Finden, still very much a sense of shock from the community. And, you know, you can, you can really sense the sombre atmosphere. These things, I'm told by residents, never happen around here. So people still quite shocked about what happened to 79-year-old Donald Locke. And still today, there's been a very steady stream of well-wishers coming here to the scene to pay their respects. One of those was Donald's best friend, Stuart. They were both members of the same cycling club. He told me that Donald was a truly perfect human being. And he said that he was known in the area as Mr. Worthing himself, and that nobody would ever really recover from hearing the news about what happened to him. He said he was with Donald on Thursday night at the cycling club. They'd had a meeting and said they were laughing and joking about forgetting their anniversaries, just as Mr. Locke drove off. Now, he drove down this road, and it's understood that his car hit another car, which in what police described as a minor shunt. Uh, Mr. Locke then got out of the car, and that's when he was uh, repeatedly stabbed in what's been described as a, a suspected road rage incident. Well, as, as you mentioned, a 34-year-old man from Worthing has been arrested. He's still in custody and being questioned by Sussex police, so we will bring you those developments as we get them. But police are still appealing for anybody that might have been in this area or on this road uh, just before 9 o'clock on Thursday evening. It's quite busy, and any information would really be crucial to this investigation investigation. Uh, meanwhile, Mr. Locke's family visited the scene here yesterday. His wife, Maureen, said that he was a very kind and gentle family man with so much to look forward to. He'd just been given the all clear from cancer and was also awaiting the birth of his sixth great grandchild. So as the police here continue their investigations, the community is still asking why this has happened and trying to come to terms with uh, something of this nature happening in this very peaceful area. Amelia, thanks very much. Our correspondent Amelia Papadopoulos is at the uh, scene of the crash and Amelia we, we can see behind you uh, flowers that have been laid at that scene and I know a lot of tributes have been paid to Mr Locke today. Yes, Adam, that's right. Well, this is a community that's definitely in mourning, and you can definitely sense the very sombre atmosphere here. I've spoken to many people who say this kind of thing just doesn't happen in this village uh, near Worthing of Finden. And this is still very much an ongoing investigation. Police have said they're searching various addresses in Worthing today for more evidence. They're also carrying out forensic tests on a knife and a car uh, in connection with the murder of 79-year-old Donald Locke on Thursday night. Well, Mr. Locke was driving south on this stretch of the A24 on Thursday night. He was at a meeting at his local cycling club when his car hit another car. Uh, police said it was just a minor shunt. So the great-grandfather then got out of the car and that's when he was attacked, stabbed repeatedly in a suspected road rage incident. Then his attacker just fled the scene. Well, a 34-year-old man from Worthing was arrested yesterday, not far from here, just three miles uh, down the road from where the attack actually happened. And he's still in custody and being questioned by police. But as you mentioned, the community here is still very much in shock that something like this could happen in this peaceful and quiet village. Many of them have come here today to lay flowers and also to pay their respects. Uh, one of them who I spoke to was Donald's best friend. He didn't want to appear on camera, but his name was Stuart. And he said that Mr. Locke was a truly perfect human being who was known as Mr. Worthing. He said the town would never really be quite the same without him. He also told me that he was with Donald on Thursday before the attack and they were laughing and joking about both having forgotten their wedding anniversaries and said that's how he would remember his friend. Well, Mr. Locke's family also visited this scene yesterday to come and lay flowers. His uh, wife, Maureen, said he was a very gentle, wonderful and kind family man who would be truly missed. She also said that he had so much to look forward to. He'd just been given the all clear from cancer and was also excited about the birth of his sixth 
great-grandchild. Well, Sussex police are still appealing for anybody with information, anyone that might have been on this stretch of the A24 just before 9 o'clock on Thursday to come forward and help them with their investigation into what they say was a violent and unprovoked attack. Uh, Amelia, many thanks to you. That's Amelia Papadopoulos at the uh, scene of that crash. Well, our correspondent Amelia Papadopoulos is at the scene and was listening into that conference. Um, uh, Amelia, first of all, let's just remind ourselves of the circumstances of Mr. Locke's death. Yes, Adam. Well, Mr. Locke was at a meeting at his cycling club on Thursday evening. As he left that meeting, just before nine o'clock, he was driving south on the A24, just near the village of Finden. And now his car had a very minor collision with a car in front. He then got out of the car, and that's when he was attacked. He was repeatedly stabbed, and despite the best efforts of uh, passers-by and paramedics, they were unable to save him. Well, we do know that the attacker then drove off, but a 34-year-old man was arrested yesterday. Yesterday, he is still in custody and being questioned uh, by police. And Emilio, also a very emotional uh, testimony there from uh, his son, Andrew, remembering his father as, as a man of wit and charm and, and as a role model. Yes, a very uh, moving tribute to his father and having been in the area all day and speaking to local people, people that knew him and knew of him, you can, you, it's, it's very apparent that Mr Locke was a very popular man. He was described as kind and gentle and calm. He was a very enthusiastic cyclist and that's why the family chose to read their statement here uh, just behind me uh, by the village of Washington. This was often uh, where he'd finish his 10 mile time trials every Thursday. So this was a very, very special uh, spot for them. But they also described how he was full of life, even though he was uh, coming close to his 80th birthday. He'd just overcome cancer. Uh, he had quite a long battle with prostate cancer, uh, but he'd overcome it. He was looking forward to the birth of his sixth great-grandchild uh, and uh, as you heard there from the son going on holiday as well so he was very much a uh, active uh, very very active but also an active member of this community so many people have been coming uh, yesterday and today to lay flowers and pay their tributes to a, a man who they describe uh, who say they, they say will be a huge loss to this community uh, Amelia thank you that's uh, Amelia Papadopoulos who's been following that story with us throughout the day Amelia Papadopoulos is in West Sussex for us. Amelia. Yes, thanks, Gavin. Well, the 34-year-old man that was arrested on Friday from Worthing is still in custody and being questioned for a third day now. Now, he's been named locally as Matthew Daly, but that hasn't been confirmed by the police yet. Well, he was arrested just three miles from here where the attack on Donald Locke happened on uh, Thursday night. It's thought the 79-year-old was on his way home from a gathering at his local cycling club, uh, and he was on this stretch of the A24 when he crashed into the back of another car. It's thought then the pensioner got out of his car, and that's when he was attacked, stabbed repeatedly in a suspected road rage. Police have been granted ex extra time to question the suspect. We think they have until about midnight tonight to decide whether to charge or release him. So we should have more information on that soon. Meanwhile, they are still, still appealing for witnesses, anybody that might have been on this stretch of the A24 just before nine o'clock on Thursday and saw something to come forward and help them with their investigation. Meanwhile, here near the quiet village of Finden, residents still very much in shock about what's happened. Donald Locke was a, you know, a very important member of this community. He was popular and he'd lived here for 55 years. I spoke yesterday to his best friend, Stuart, who told me he was known around here as Mr. Worthing himself. And yesterday, his son, Andrew Locke, also made a very emotional and moving tribute to his father. He said the family were overwhelmed by all the messages of support from the public and also wanted to thank the emergency services and paramedics that had tried to save his father's life. He described him as full of energy and even though he was on the verge of his 80th birthday, they said he had so much uh, more life left to live. He'd just been given the all clear from cancer and was also looking forward to the birth of his sixth great-grandchild. Emilia, thanks very much. And our reporter, uh, Emilia Papadopoulos, uh, joins us now. Just explain what is exactly going on now. 
Yes, well, we've just heard from Sussex uh, police that a 34-year-old man, uh, Matthew Daly from Worthing, has now been charged with the murder of 79-year-old Donald Locke on Thursday evening. He was charged at 4 o'clock this afternoon with murder and also with possession of a knife. He'll appear at Crawley Magistrates Court tomorrow. Well, our news correspondent, Amelia Papadopoulos, is in Worthing, where detectives made the announcement earlier. Amelia. Yes, Nicholas. Well, Detective Paul Remarsh, who's leading this investigation, gave this statement earlier outside a police station in Worthing. A 34-year-old man has been charged with the murder of Donald Locke in Finden on Thursday the 16th of July. Matthew Daly of St Elmo Road, Worthing, was charged with murder and possession of a knife in a public place shortly after 4pm today. He's been remanded in custody to appear at Crawley Magistrates Court tomorrow. Mr Locke's family have asked that they be left to grieve and not contacted directly. I would also like to thank the public and the media for their help during this investigation. Thank you. Well, this has been a relatively fast-moving investigation. Matthew Daly was arrested a day after Donald Locke was killed. And following three days of questioning, he has now been charged, as you heard there, with murder and also with possession of a knife in a public place. He'll appear at Crawley Magistrates tomorrow morning. Well, 79-year-old Donald Locke was allegedly murdered on Thursday night as he drove back from a meeting at his local cycling club. Uh, he was stabbed on the A20 following a minor collision with another car. Well, Don, as he was known to his friends, had lived in Worthing for 55 years. He'd just been given the all-clear from cancer and was also looking forward to welcoming his sixth great-grandchild. His family yesterday described him as the perfect role model who would be truly missed. Amelia, thank you very much indeed. Up to date, what's the latest we know? Well, Nick, the 34-year-old man that was arrested, named locally as uh, Matthew Daly, is still in custody and being questioned by police. Now, he is from Worthing, and I've just spoken to one resident who told me that he worked at a golf uh, course just quite near to here where the incident took place. Well, police have until midnight tonight, and then they'll have to decide whether to charge or release him, but they're still examining a knife that they found yesterday and also a car. So this is still very much an ongoing investigation.